The inspiration for the low liner, long story, but I'll make it quick here. When we do these custom Mopar builds for SEMA, I would like the vehicle to reflect what someone realistically could do with a very realistic budget and realistic uh, skill set and resources to execute the vehicle. Trucks are just the hot thing right now, and especially the vintage trucks, to be honest. Quite truthfully, never thought it would be this 1968 Dodge Camper Special. These trucks were known as the, the swept line design. The whole thing is a concept, but the thought of this 5.9 uh, Cummins diesel, put an airbag suspension on it, paint it these beautiful colors that you see right here behind me, and uh, the rest is history. This truck was more special. Uh, we purchased it locally. It was relatively rust-free, not dent-free, but rust-free, and uh, turned it into what you see here. But that whole package of the transmission the manual transmission and that engine itself is uh, pretty heroic fitting it into this truck. Some of the other subtle touches were just when you see the, the tilt front end, it allows you to see all sides of the engine, the 5.9 diesel hiding underneath. The graphics that you see, the actual grill, that's vintage 1968. The wheels are 22 inch in diameter. They appear to be like old school stamp steel wheels from the past. They're actually milled aluminum. Uh, made to look like stamp steel wheels. The tail lamps were all new. The bench seat we basically just recovered. And a little bit of tip of the hat to Mopar too. If you look at the headliner, we've covered that in this uh, Blazing Saddle tan uh, leather. And then we've got the Mopar Omega M and some filigree stitched into that. So it's a, it's a cool little detail that you don't see until you're actually in the driver's seat. and. You're starting to look around in the environment and you see that, it's pretty neat. I think it'll catch some people off guard. I hope they appreciate it. I think the Mopar aficionados and enthusiasts will uh, uh, nod their head in approval. So it's, it's kind of exciting. And once again, this is for 2019 SEMA. There are no rules.